Hello, friends. It's your old pal, Heavy of Metal, again. Now that Classic's released, I've been able to test which mods are working and which ones are straight to DVD garbage. There's a tons of different add-ons that I'd recommend, but won't be covering here. This one's just for the add-ons that I use to form my UI. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the add-ons. Uh, I'll give you a brief description and a rundown, but uh, you should have the brain capacity to figure out how to customize a lot of this stuff yourself. So let's buckle up and delve into the exciting world of add-ons. Okay, here's a screenshot of my UI. I figured this would be an easier way for you to find what you're looking for. I've got the add-ons color-coded here so you can just eyeball and skip to the part that gets you rigid. Alright, so the first add-on is Z-Pearl, which changes your unit plates. You can see here, I've got my uh, player unit plate. Over here, I have my target. If I target myself, you can also see the target of your target right here. And also, this will do um, your party frames as well. And uh, it's supposed to do focus, but that's not in classic. To access it, you just type slash Z-Pearl, and it'll pull up the options. And there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with it here. Uh, you, for instance, I'll edit my player frame. You can change the size by going up, down, right here on the scale. You can put on 3D portraits. You can extend all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can show buffs and debuffs on your character too, if you want. Um, it's not super important for me. I prefer to track any important buffs or debuffs using uh, weak auras but uh, up to you. Customize it how you like. So the next add-on I want to go over is Dominoes. You can see down here how it edits my action bars. Uh, to pull up the options, you just type in slash Dominoes, enter, bam. And there's a whole bunch of options here. I like to hide my binding text and macro text, but uh, the two main ones you want to look at are configure bars and bind keys click on configure bars and it highlights everything you can edit so for instance on number four here I right click it pulls up the options for number four you can edit all kinds of stuff the, the number of buttons on the bar the columns the spacing the size of it faded opacity uh, really customizable I like it a lot so back into the options and my favorite thing about it is the bind keys feature though with this you can just hover over the icon of your uh, move on your action bars and you just push the button and it binds it. You don't have to go into the messy default key bindings option and find which exact like uh, button your move is set on. All you have to do is hover over it, push it, boom, done. So here on my target you can see the cast bar in action. Note that uh, in default classic WoW, your enemies don't show a cast bar. So this is super helpful for interrupts, amazing for PvP. It's just all around an add-on you're going to want. Alright, so to show the cast bar options, you just type slash cast bar, enter, pulls up your option interface. Click on toggle testing target, and this little guy over here will show up, which is a mock cast bar. And over here you got all your settings you can edit. You can edit the cast bar size, the width, the height. You can choose the icon size. You can see it get bigger, smaller, there you go. Uh, the colors, everything you need. If you want to move it, you just grab it and you drag it around where you want it. Put it right back there. Perfect. On the weapon swing timer. On the right, underneath my character frame, you can see my weapon swing timer. And on the right, underneath my target, the ogre, you can see my target swing timer. Uh, this add-on is incredibly useful for warriors. Anybody have a really slow swing timer, but anybody doing melee damage is going to get benefit out of it. To open up weapon swing timer, you just type slash WST. Enter. Boom. And you come down here, and you go to melee settings. Uh, I like to slide the out of combat alpha all the way down. That way it won't show unless you're actively in combat. But there's a couple different uh, options, everything, show borders. <coughs> uh, 
uh, you should probably edit that out. Show off hand, which I don't really care about, so use a two-hander like a man. Uh, <clears throat> there's no sliders for, like, actually setting the size of it, so unfortunately you have to, uh, like, type in some digits and guess how long you want it, but a little trial and error and you'll get it. Here in the middle of the screen, you can see how I track different debuffs I put on mobs, like hamstring, but in this example, you can only see deep wounds and rend. This is from Weak Ores, and it's probably the most powerful add-on on this list. Okay, so to access Weak Ores, you type in slash Weak Ores, or you can come up over here to your mini-map and just click on the uh, mini-map button. Uh, here you can see I have deep wounds, hamstring, and rend. But what if I want to make one for Piercing Howe in the future? Easy enough. Come over here to Progress Bar. Click on it. Piercing Howe. Now, what I just typed in there, that's not going to do anything. That's just a name so we can identify it on the list here on the left. Uh, we'll come over to Display. Scroll up to the top. All kinds of different visual effects you can put on here. Uh, different kinds of bar textures. Different kinds of bar colors. Um, scroll down, you can affect the width, the height, uh, but to make it trigger off a of piercing how, you have to go to the trigger tab, come down to names, click that, and type in the debuff name. Piercing how. And it has to be exact on, otherwise it won't recognize it. Hit OK, and it'll show, hey, here's three spells we found with that name. So it will recognize it, pretty cool. Uh, then if you want to move it to a specific area, just tweak your weak ores interface off to the right. And you can see right here a little mock version of the bar. So I would drag it down, resize it under display, and get it put right in line with the other ones. Or realistically, I would come up here, just copy uh, the one I already made, and then change the trigger aura so that it was identical to the other ones. I could do a whole video on weak ores. There's all kinds of stuff you can set up in here. Um, I'll be using it to track different enemy cooldowns, like, I don't, for instance, a Paladin's Freedom, how long it'll go and whatnot. But um, for this video, I'm just giving you a real quick down theory to track your debuffs. Alright, so moving on to my chat add-on. Uh, this is called Pratt, and it just gives you a real clean, easier to look at chat interface. Um, it does the same to combat log, but there's this error right now where I can't drag it all the way down to the bottom for some reason. I don't know. So I just leave it over here for now. You can see I set up four different tabs pretty much. That's how I like it. I, I make a tab for my whispers. That way when somebody whispers me, looking for the tank for the monastery? No. I can, uh, it'll flash and let me know in case I miss it in my main one. And looking for group channel, it just gets spammed constantly, so I don't want that in my general one. So I make it its own thing too. And basically you just right click you know, you go to settings, and, you know, you can do whatever you want. Colors for whatever. You can join different channels. Uh, you can make new, different uh, chat windows and whatnot. Pretty simple, straightforward. Up here you have your tabs. You know, like I said, I got the whispers. You can see I've only got the whispers checked, so that's all that show up in there. Over and looking for group, I got everything turned off. Except for looking for group. Bam. And, um, that's that. In the upper right hand corner you can see my mini map add on, sexy map. To access its options you can type slash sexy map or just hover over it and right click. Uh, on the left here you can see all the different options, but when you first load this thing up, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like absolute crap, have all these gaudy blue rings around it and this weird green outline. Fix this, just come over here under the top option sexy map, go to default presets, drag it down to rustic, accept. It's not quite there yet. After this, you want to go to borders. You come over here to mini map shape, change that to square, that'll get rid of that weird green background on it. Then you come over here to background and slash edge and just disable that. And then you got yourself a clean, tight little square for your map. 
Next up is recount. Recount is like the quintessential DPS meter. Not only does it track DPS, it'll track damage done, healing done, interrupts, all kinds of different stuff. So you can really get a feel for who the garbage people are in your group. Here you can see me crushing the DPS meters as usual. Uh, to pull recount up, I, I don't have it in the video here, but you just type slash recount show and the rest should be self-explanatory. This brings us to classic threat meter. Honestly, I can't recommend this add-on. It works correctly maybe half of the time, but currently it's still the best threat meter out there. Um, I really wish Omen had been updated for classic, but as of right now, it still has no plans to be brought over. What this add-on does if you're DPS is show your threat compared to the tanks and really everybody else's. And if you're the tank, it's the same thing in reverse. Shows your threat compared to the DPS. So if you're tanking, it's good so you know how strong of a hold you have on different mobs. And if you're DPS, it's great so that you don't uh, just go butt fucking nuts and pull aggro. So Bagnon's a real simple add-on. I've been using it for years. Absolutely love it. All you have to do is install it, and then when you open your bags, bam. It's one consolidated giant ass bag. Uh, there's no tweaking it, there's no messing around, you just install and it's ready to go. Uh, what I really like about Bag On is um, it'll tell you how many of something you have on a different character. So, for instance here, Mage Weep Cloth, you can see on my bank, I got 102. On Heavy, I got 20. So you can see how much stuff you have across characters and it's uh, pretty handy. Trinket Menu is one of my favorite add-ons. Uh, you've probably seen it in a lot of different PvP videos. It's the little box right below my character nameplate that has two Arena Master trinkets in it right now. Uh, how it works is you just hover over it and a little side box will pop out showing the remaining trinkets in your bags. And you can hover over them, click, and it'll swap real fast. Um, this is real great in PvP if you can manage to get out of combat after you've used a uh, on-use trinket. Then you can go to a stat one or a different on use. Uh, to uh, access its options, just type slash trinket trinket opt. And the options will pop up. And you can see all kinds of different stuff you can do here, how it's laid out, um, notifying you when a trinket's only got three seconds left, and so on. Very handy add on. And that's it for my UI add-ons, friends. In the description, I'll have links to all the add-ons shown today. All you have to do is install and customize them. Hopefully, you'll be able to set up a solid user interface from this video. And again, if you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe. And if you didn't, your UI's probably trash anyway.